the Duchess. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to cut curly hair into layers. This is one of my custom made wigs, and for this unit, I used um, curly. Well, I used curly hair to start off with, and I used the lengths. 22, 20, 18 and a 16 inch closure and then I colored it with um, peroxide 12% I didn't leave it for long so I'll have another video showing you how I color hair and this is how the wig looks like it's a very lovely chocolate brown hair color it's, um, as you can see it's a bit flat on the top it has a bit more volume um, at the bottom, so I'm just going to blend it in so it has like nice layers. You can see the razor has two sides it has the long teeth and it has the short teeth. Now, what I'm going to use this hair tutorial to cut the curly hair, I'm going to use the short teeth. So, I'm just going to take it section by section. As I'm doing this, I'm going to just look in the mirror. So first you'd like to decide where you want um, the layers to start from. Because the length, just bring everything forward. There's quite a difference in length. I wouldn't want to start too short because that would disconnect the layers and that would mean that I'd have to cut some of this length as well to blend in. So I'll kind of basically start from where the closure is. So I'll blend it more from here. Take a section diving down, take the hair together. You can see this is where the longest part is. So you hold it down and then you slide it. And that'll be the first. Then you take another section. Bit of the first one like that. But then you slide from there. diagonally as you can see the shortest layer is here so what you want to do is hold the short bit of the curl downwards and you pull it so it's nice and tight and then you kind of slice it as you go down and this is about how much I'm taking off let's see how that already looks like so can you guys kind of tell the difference between this side and that side as you can see um this side has is already kind of like blending a little bit more here and this side is kind of like straight this look also works it depends the kind of look that you are going for and what you want but you could also have it which is quite nice but i like it a bit so now i like it like this gonna go all the way at the back so from the back let me show you i'm not sure you can see it in the camera yes you can so you take a selection like that when you hold it like that just turn back to the mirror that you can see and literally just bring it like that find your um, your guide which is this one again you start sliding until you're all the way down and there's nothing else to come off and you have that so for the front bit, I want to kind of layer it a little bit more. So bring it like that. And then kind of like oh this is my blade. 
is not too sharp but it works when it's not too sharp because then you don't really take a huge chunk off and you can kind of um, be more careful is this side done so can you guys see the difference between this side and that side I'm not sure if you guys can see it I can this side has you know now it has a bit more volume it has a bit more texture and it just you know sits more nicely and this side is the ooh, look so we're gonna do the same on that side Now for the front two pieces, what you want to do is bring them together like that and then make sure they're equal. So now you can just go in and anything that's a little bit out of place, you can just trim separately yourself. Right, so this is it. It's um nice and simple so as you can see there's a bit more volume here and it's a bit more into layers from the side as well you can now see that there's a bit more body and it's, a, it's just in a better shape from the back as well as you can see a bit of the curl definition soft serum just one pump and then I massage it into my hands and then I massage it just into the hair. This will just make sure the curls don't look too dry and that, you know, it's nice and soft. Then I'm gonna put the curl defining shine and mousse, which I'll shape. Put about this much, and I rub it. Also, put it like these products really work. They're really, really lovely products. And as you can see, the hair has got a really nice shine. You know, the color is really lovely as well. So guys, this is the end result. It's like <laughs> it's a really quick video, just how to trim curly hair. For those who have curly hair, and for those who've done a curly weave, I have a curly weave, you want it into layers. I hope this tutorial has helped you achieve it onto how to do it yourself. And I hope you guys like it. So thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe. Every subscription count, and I really appreciate it. So hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.